folks, this here is Elgin, Subway Surfer Bowling, your creative caricature marketing consultant, coming at you again with part two of, uh, wow, I don't even remember the title of the other previous post. Anyway, in the previous post, I was showing you the Scribble Scrabble method, using some ugly guy, one of my students, you know, that was uh, on my iPad. This time, I'm using another ugly guy, and that would be me. You know, as you can see, you know, um, I have already drawn a pre-sketch, which I would normally do. You know, with this marker I've been telling you guys about, the Crayola marker. You know, I'm not so concerned, you know, about the accuracy of the sketch. Uh, when I'm drawing someone live for a gift caricature or when I'm drawing on the trains or the buses, this is normally what the pre-sketch looks like. Scribbled real fast, trying to get a certain attitude, a certain mood before the person moves. And then, you know, what I do is I start to do the... Finishing sketch, or inking rather, with a Sharpie brush pen. That's what I'm using today. So I'm going to have my cameraman take it. If this comes out kind of funky, well, we are working live, and you know me. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really care. Well, I do care about the results, but I wanted to come to you live. Now, what I always do, I always start with the nose, even in a pre-sketch, even in inking. I always start it with the nose, and I think it's a good rule of thumb because the nose is the center of interest, okay? And I can always refer back to the nose, you know, no matter what I'm doing. Where I go next is the left eye. I start that first. If I start with the right eye first, you know, I'll cover up something, you know, so I always start with the left eye. What I love about these, this marker, again, Grading flow, you can get a nice variation of tone, okay? Nice variation of line, rather. Start with the right side, okay? Working very slowly. What I'll probably do, you know, uh, once I finish this, probably go and, you know, use tracing paper to go over it again, or who knows, maybe I'll just leave the orange lines there. And once I'm here, I'll do the eyebrows. And if there's something I need to change at this stage, I'll just change it right here. You know, I my eyelashes, you know, are prominent, so I will, you know, include that. Okay. Next, I'm going to do the cheek. Cheek right here comes out. Falls right here. My lips are prominent. Again, in caricature, what we do is we always overemphasize. Now, I know exactly what I look like, and I make no illusions. Well, I used to, but not anymore. <laughs> so I just draw, I'll just draw that. So we got the lip here cheekbone right here. And I'm going to go for the ear. Now in drawing the nose, even though we're exaggerating, I don't break rules. Like the nose here usually lines up with the bottom of the earlobe. And the eyebrow usually lines up with the top of the earlobe. That's just a good rule of thumb uh, to know about when drawing. There are exceptions, you know, and sometimes we bend the rules for exaggeration's sake. But even in exaggerating, I generally, you know, like to follow uh, prescribed rules of portrait drawing. So now I'm going down to the lower part of the face, drawing my goatee. Nice, easy lines. You know, it's black, you know. Nice and loose. Keeping it nice and loose. Going as fast as possible. You never want to, when you're drawing hair, you don't want to labor over, you know, hair. You want it to be nice and loose so you have that quality. Okay, next I'm doing the neck. Uh, when I used to do necks, back in the old days when I first did caricature, I would draw these little skinny toilet paper necks, and it kind of, you know, made the drawing look off balance, you know, sort of. So I stopped doing that, you know, and made the neck proportionate to um, the way the head, you know, was drawn. So I would do that. Next, I'm going to do the last, or rather, do the way my forehead just kind of leans back like that in that direction because you also want to start exploiting angles in drawing. Okay, draw the hair, color it in, 
doing the pre-sketch makes it very easy for you to have a lot of freedom at this stage, and it's not cheating, believe me. Even if you're drawing uh, a live caricature, a lot of the uh, park artists who draw in Great Adventure and other theme parks in Florida and other parts of the country will do a light pre-sketch using uh, a, a light pencil or something like that. I just did this for um, illustration's sake. You know, so basically, that's about it. You do your pre-sketch first, then you can ink it over, you know, in a marker like this, the Sharpie marker. You can also uh, use a Tombow brush pen to do it, whatever you would decide. Um, but that's just um, one way of doing it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Practice. This is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, your creative caricature marketing consultant.